food is disappearing from the New Zealand diet. Why is that important and why should we care about it? New Zealand is literally awash with food. Last year we produced 16 billion litres of milk. 16 billion. Most of that we exported. We also produced hundreds of millions of tonnes of meat, fruit, vegetables, almost all exported. And yet at the same time, we imported hundreds and hundreds of tonnes of processed, reconstituted, packaged food. What's wrong with this picture? In our grandmother's day, deciding what to eat was a pretty simple affair. These days when you think about food, you've got to consider GMO, fair trade, organic, pesticide residues, the list goes on and on and on and on. It's no wonder that so many people are opting out of the thinking part of buying food. We just buy what's tasty, what's cheap, what looks nice in the burger bar. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if there was a really simple way to take away all the problems with food? Just one single thing you can do to make food better. Well, luckily there is, otherwise it would have been an awfully short talk. <laughs> Eating local food is the beginning of the solution to a lot of our food problems. Local food doesn't need transportation. There's savings in petroleum and energy and pollution for a start. Local food tends to be seasonal, so you're eating fresh food that's better for you. When you replace imported food with local food, you're providing jobs for local farmers, local growers. And perhaps the best thing about local food is you're buying it from local people. But I hear you say, we still need cheap food. And local food's expensive, you go to the farmer's market, you pay a fortune for it. Here's the news flash. Local food can be cheap, but you have to buy it in season. So you can't buy the same food all year round and expect it to be cheap. But at any time of the year, you can buy food that's local and abundant because it's being harvested, and you can get it for a song. Now the really important part about local food is preserving our local food infrastructure. What I mean by that is, think about what happens to retailers when a large warehouse store opens up in their vicinity. Right now that same thing's happening to our food infrastructure in New Zealand. Let me give you an example from my area. In the Wairarapa, and 10 years ago there were half a dozen commercial tomato growers. Now there's one. Huge hothouse operations in Australia and Auckland tend to dominate the market, drive down prices, consolidate production. So we get left with a handful of producers for the whole country. Then when there's bad weather or a bad season or national disasters, the price goes up. Right now, local growers really need our support. And if ever there was a case of use them or lose them, it is right now. Okay, so you might be a little bit excited about local food by now. One of my friends asked me recently, so I'm concerned about this stuff. What do I do as a lazy consumer? And it's a perfectly valid question. This food stuff's hard enough without all the other stuff you've got to think about. In his book, The Omnivore's Dilemma, Michael Pollan put forward a rule of eat food, not too much, mostly plants. And it's a pretty good rule as far as it goes about what to eat, but it doesn't address where you get it from. So I'd like to suggest a little addition to that. Eat real food grown by real people. Now, it might sound overly simplistic, but within that is all you need to do. By real food, I mean look at food that your grandparents would recognize as edible. <laughs> that rules out a whole lot of stuff right off the bat. Real food needs to be grown near you. Now, by near, it could be your backyard, the neighbor's backyard, with permission, the same town as you, or even within New Zealand. That's up to you, but it needs to be grown near you. Real people? Well, that's easy. Human beings you can talk to. Not a factory, not a combine harvester, and not a laboratory. So if you can grow your own food, that's great. It doesn't get much more local than that. If you can't grow your own food, the next best is to buy from someone who has it. Farmers markets, places like Ubi, uh, where you can share your home produce, 
And if you're a carnivore, get to know a local farmer. If you buy your meat by the beast, you'll have it. <laughs>